The head of Indo-Pacific Command pitched lawmakers on building an Aegis Ashore missile defense facility to guard the U.S. territory, warning that China's missile arsenal threatens Guam and the United States have to fight for it. The proposed Guam defense system would potentially consist of Lockheed Martin's Aegis Combat System Baseline 10, a solid-state radar such as the Raytheon Spy 6 or a variant of the Lockheed Spy 7, the BAE System's Mark 41 Vertical Launching System and SM-3 or SM-6 missile. This, if deployed, will be a major move by the U.S. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the head of the Indo-Pacific Command wants the Aegis Ashore system in Guam. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Admiral Phil Davidson told the Senate Armed Services Committee that the island needs protection as the home of 170,000 U.S. citizens and service members, a deep water strategic port, fuel and munition stores, and an airfield used to project U.S. power. Guam would be key to responding to any conflict in the Asia Pacific region. Guam is a target today, it needs to be defended and it needs to be prepared for the threats that will come in the future," Davidson said. He added later, China's own Air Force has put out a propaganda video showing their H-6 bomber force attacking Anderson Air Force Base at Guam and distributed that quite publicly. In this context, viewers may note that images of Chinese H-6N missile carrier aircraft carrying an outsized missile underneath its fuselage emerged in November last year. Still captures from a video showing the H-6N carrying this missile first appeared on Twitter on November 5, 2020. They came from a clip that had been posted on the Chinese social network Weibo, but which appears to have been subsequently taken down. The shape of the missile seems to indicate that the missile could be a hypersonic one. As per the image, the missile is about one-third the length of the H-6N and is likely to be 40 feet. Mr. Davidson added further technical insight. He stated, while the Aegis Ashore system would counter ballistic missiles or cruise missiles launched from the air, land, and sea, the island's existing anti-ballistic missile capability, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System is not capable of meeting the current trajectory of threats from China. It's the key piece that we're missing that signals to the region that the U.S. is a reliable and committed security partner, that we're there to defend not only U.S. territory but our interests abroad," Davidson said of Aegis Ashore. He added it would show China it can't knock Guam out with an easy shot and keep us out of the fight to present a fait accompli against Taiwan. The Aegis Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense DoD, missile defense agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles, as well as cruise missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post-boost phase and prior to re-entry. It enables Aegis-equipped vessels like Arleigh Burke-class destroyers to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY radar and standard missile technologies. 
Aegis Ashore is the land variant of the system. Basic concept and technology remain the same. It's only that it deployed on a missile defense site instead of being deployed in surface vessels. The first site to be declared operational was in Romania in 2016. The heart of the Aegis system will be an automatic detect and track multifunctional active electronically scanned array ANSPY-6 or a variant of ANSPY-7. This high-powered radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a capability of over 100 targets. A conventional mechanically rotating radar sees a target when the radar beam strikes that target once during each 360-degree rotation of the antenna. A separate tracking radar is then required to engage each target. By contrast, the computer-controlled ANSPY-6 or ANSPY-7 brings these functions together with one system. The phased array can concentrate energy where it's needed. The operator can boost the range and resolution in a particular direction without blinding the ship to threats from another side. The fixed arrays of SPY send out beams of electromagnetic energy in all directions simultaneously, continuously providing a search and tracking capability for hundreds of targets at the same time. The BAE Systems Mark 41 Vertical Launching System is versatile and can accommodate different types of missiles. The Aegis Ashore batteries will be armed with SM-6 interceptors or SM-3 Block 2A. Manufactured by U.S. defense contractor Raytheon, SM-6 is a supersonic Mach 3.5 Plus missile interceptor with an estimated range of over 180 miles or 289 kilometers. It's designed for extended range anti-air warfare ERAAW purposes, providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land, and terminal ballistic missile defense. The SM-3 Block 2A has been under joint development by Raytheon and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. It's designed to destroy short to intermediate range ballistic missile threats. SM-3 Block 2A interceptors have an extended range of 2,500 kilometers or 1,350 miles. The successful test in November last year demonstrated its ability to destroy an intercontinental ballistic missile. Guam's location is strategic in nature and provides the U.S. military a very important foothold in the Indo-Pacific and can be used to launch military interventions in the region. The Chinese military strategists are aware of it and would like to nullify this scenario. As evident, specific weapons have been developed for this purpose. One such example is the DF-26 ballistic missile. The DF-26 has a range of 4,000 kilometers or 2,500 miles and is thought to be designed to conduct precision nuclear or conventional strikes against ground and naval targets. The missile is referred to by netizens as the Guam Express or Guam Killer. It's apparent that Guam needs more protection and Aegis Ashore batteries will be a good fit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.